Good evening, welcome. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. Nice. Fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Asalia. Diana Yamilet. Welcome to all of you. Hello, hello, welcome. Pero si como a Si con pues por algo estamos lamentando cosas que Here waiting for all of you. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, from Alejandro. How do you feel today? Mm -hmm. I'm tired, teacher. A little tired? I'm feeling tired. Really? What? Mm -hmm. uh, today's score is very hard. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, welcome. Thank you, Tisha. Welcome, welcome. Pleasure to see you again. Good morning. Oh. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm 
Seigneur, en ma vérité, Samaon. Okay, let me see what we're going to do. Let me share the topic. Okay, welcome to all of you. Today, uh, this is section number 17. This is the last week of this module. And today we are going to talk about how to use good like to. That is the main topic that we are going to study. So I need that all of you feel uh, comfortable in order to attend this section. So please. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Okay, uh, let me check out the attendance first. Okay. Second, please.
Okay, let me check out for the attendance and then we are going to start talking about the topic for today. Let me second. Okay, here we go. I got it. Alejandra Elizabeth, are you there? Alejandra? Hello. Hello, teacher. Alejandra is there? No? Not here, okay. Okay, Anna Victoria. Listen. Okay, Anna Victoria is here. Um, Asalia. Asalia. Present teacher. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, uh, Brenda, Ivet. Brenda, Ivet. Present teacher. Traiga para que cambie. Natalie Funes. Present teacher. Saqué la medicina del spray. Le voy a poner el spray. Microphone, 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 please. The, uh, Carlos. Hello, I'm here. Hello, teacher. Okay. I'm here. Okay, got it. Saqué la medicina del spray. El spray. Yeah. Two. Um, Diana y Amilet. Present teacher. No, eso tiene que ser. Okay, um, Edith, Matilia. Y saqué el bote de la medicina y el spray. El spray, el azulito chiquito. 
Okay, hold on a second. That may be not the microphones. Okay, um, Emerson Adil. Emerson no, Adil. Sure. Chair two, okay. No, no. Francisco Javier. No, okay. Francisco? Are you there? No, okay. Ingrid? Present teacher. Okay, Ingrid, step two. Uh, Smile Ernesto? Present teacher. Okay, step two. Eh, don Jose Alejandro. I present teacher. Okay, thank you. Julia Janet. Present teacher. You're welcome. Thanks. Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra Ivet. Present teacher. And Sonia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Okay, welcome to all of you. Glad to see you again. Okay, hold on a second, please. Let me show you my slide that we're going to use today. Okay, right here. okay, let us start with a review about the previous slide. What do you remember about yesterday? Just let me know what, what do you remember about it? Hello. You can take a look at your notes. Where the embarrass is not up. Sí, teacher. Dele a ver cómo vamos. Hello. Okay, just tell me, what do you remember about the previous class? ¿Qué recuerdan de la clase de ayer? In your own word, you can tell me that, please. Con sus propias palabras, Dean. Dean, Dean. In the last week, practice and um, expression oral with example the support tech of problem the office. Okay. And a specific about yesterday, what do you remember about? Mm. Yesterday, uh, plan yes. the practice of uh, technical 
um, diál eh, el diálogo entre los compañeros para estructurar oraciones con posibles problemas que sucedían en el trabajo, como por ejemplo, cómo hacer un reporte a soporte técnico, como por ejemplo, se dañó el computador, eh, perdimos archivos, más que todo la práctica de la expresión oral y de la estructuración de, eh, valga la redundancia, de la estructuración de oraciones o de conversaciones. Okay. okay, in Spanish, okay, what about in English? Who wants to tell me something about it? Tell me, tell me, tell me, please. Ahí la compañera ya les hizo un resumen. What, what do you remember? Tell me. It's a re... No. Y Beth se le desactivó su micrófono. The microphone is off. Es que no quería participar, teacher. Mentira. <laughs> Yesterday, um, we was talk about the sentences pro, uh, about the issues in the problem with, the, for example, the computer, the software, and that. Yes, it's okay. Someone else? No, okay. Don't worry about it. Let me see. I thought I missed it here. Wait, the camino teacher is directly more gente. No me parece el nombre sobre el usuario de Zoom, imagino que es algo de la misma que parece que sí. Ok, before we talk about something else, let us make that. Ok, let us talk about past tense from a uh, regular and irregular. Who wants to read this short paragraph before we start talking about it? Okay, who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Come. Tenses, regular, irregular. Yesterday ago, last week in 2016, our keywords. I walked to a school yesterday. We had classes and then went home. We ate lunch at home and then went back for the afternoon. In the afternoon, we learned much. After the we painting a picture, then I races a prayer with my friends. When school was finished, I visited my grandmother and then watched TV. Question: Where, what, and what did you do with your friends at the school yesterday? Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to read it. Are you master level? Only one, only one, please, only one. Hi, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Okay, past tense, regular, in irregular. Yesterday, I got last week in 
twenty sixty. Arcade Wars. I walked to school yesterday. We had class at them went home. We had lunch at home and they went back for the afternoon. In the afternoon, we learned math. After that, we painted a picture. Then at recess, in playing with my friends. When the school was finished, I um, visit my grandma and the wet TV. Question, where, what? What did you do with your friend at school yesterday? Teacher, se me olvidó como se dice 2016. 200. 2000? 2000, 2000, 2016. 2016. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome. Okay, the reading is very simple. I walked to school yesterday with our classes and then went home. We ate lunch at home and then went back for the afternoon. In the afternoon, we learn math. After we painted a picture, then at a rest, I played with my friends. When school was finished, I visited my grandmother and then watched TV. Okay, that's it. Okay, somebody that wants to read it. No? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Um, I woke up to school yesterday. We had classes and then went home. We had lunch at home and then went back for the afternoon. In the afternoon, we learned math. After that, we painted a picture. Then at recess, I played with my friends. When school was finished, I visited my grandmother and then watched TV. Question, where, what, what did you do with your friend at the school yesterday? Okay, thank you. It is just uh, in order to remember how we can use the, the past tense about regular and irregular. Okay, okay. let us continue with uh, another material and we are going to start with the question that is going to help us okay this is the we had two questions okay what is the most common problem with printers and how often do you use them okay let us talk about this topic first in order to start what is the most common problem with printers? And how often do you use them? Okay, think about, think about. I'm gonna give you uh, two minutes in order that you can think about problem with your printer. Okay, tell me, tell me, please. A task, the paper teacher. Okay. Um, uh, fill in the ink. Okay, problem with the ink. What else? And what about if you are in a hurry and you need to print out some, some documents? 
And uh, at the moment, uh, you need to print all, all the documents. Uh, your computer, it doesn't recognize the printer. How do you deal with that? I don't know if you got my message. No sé si comprendieron lo que dije. Sí, que a veces a la hora de imprimir no, la computadora no reconocía la impresora. Perfect, perfect. How do you deal with that issue? I'm calling uh, the teach support. Ah, uh, you can call to the, uh, okay, to the technical support. Okay, good idea. But what about if, if you are in a hurry and you don't have time in order to call them? Pero qué pasa si usted está ahí y el jefe le está diciendo, rápido, hurry up, hurry up, I need those papers, I need those papers. Y usted con sus nervios. Cry, cry. <laughs> no, 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 no. You are not going to solve anything with that. You need to look for, for something else in order to fix the problem. Something the um how do you say the la mayoría? Most of the people I don't know if you have talking about print hit the printer teacher. Ah, in this way. <laughs> yes. No, it's not. It's not. Poor my team. Poor my team. That is not correct. <laughs> okay, somebody else wants to tell us something about. Alguien más, alguien más nos dice. Don't tell me that, that, yeah, that you never have any problem with the printer. No me van a decir que nunca han tenido un problema con un impresor. I know, I know. I got a problem with one of the printer in my in my shop today. I was trying to print out some papers and uh, some documents, I'm sorry. And suddenly my computer, it doesn't recognize the printer. And what I have to do is just to download again the drivers in order to recognize it and reinstall. But what about you? I would like to hear you talking about this topic. Tell me. Tell me. Let me show you again the question, maybe. Okay, what is the most common problem with printers? According to your experience, let me know. What about when when the you when you are uh, printing some documents, big ones, and you need to do something else, and suddenly that the printer runs out of paper? How do you deal with that? In order to continue doing uh, the process.
Hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Oh, good evening, uh, sir. Smile, tell me. In my, in my job, uh, the most common problem with the printers is that the computer don't, don't find the printer. Okay, okay. It's difficult to recognize it. Recognize, let's just don't recognize the printer. Oh, okay, and, and how often do you, do, you, do you use the, the printer? How often do you use it? Oh, daily, daily we use the printer. Every day? We have every day. Okay. Okay, somebody else was trying to tell us something. Go ahead, go ahead. You can do it now. Anybody? Anybody else want to say something about? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, no ideas about this problem. Okay, stop sharing. I don't know why you don't want to talk about this issue. I don't say por qué no, no quieren contar sus experiencias. Si la mayoría tiene algunos problemas con impresoras, están imprimiendo grandes archivos y de repente se queda sin papel. ¿Y cómo hace para que continúe en, en el orden que llevaba? Tell me that in English. That is what I want to hear from you. Or maybe uh, if, uh, the paper is stuck on, on the roller, you know. How do you deal with that? Hello, hello. No, she will be proud. Teacher, choose uh, somebody. Okay, I'm going to look for someone. What about, uh, let me see. Like that. Um, yes, two listeners. Mm -hmm. Maida, tell us, ha have you ever had a problem with uh, printers? Hello, teacher. Um, yes, um, sometimes it's happening when the ink absorber is full. Okay. And how, how do you resolve the problem? Um, call the stage support and they revision. And then solution in... Nunca lo he hecho, yo lo, la enviamos y ellos le resuelven y luego nos regresan el impresor. Okay, okay, you send it to the technical support. Yes, teacher. Okay, what, what about you, Esmeralda, the gentleman? Tell us. Do you deal with uh, printers or not? Sí, he tenido problemas con la impresora. Yes. Um, my problem, my problem is print the bullets because it was co estaba mal configurada. Okay. That means that you are talking about drivers and something like that, but the setting, the setting. Okay, thank you, Dumbledore. 
Okay, let us continue talking about this. Okay, uh, we are going to practice this conversation that had to do with do something like that. Listen, and then you are going to practice the conversation in between uh, Mike and, and Maria. Mike Hernandez. I feel harming. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Shoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Oshoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red line on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. Okay, question about this conversation, please. Teacher. Hello. In in four five in text of Maria, it doesn't seem to working as is the pronunciation. I does I doesn't seem the pronunciation the correct pronunci pronunciation. Okay, let me see where, okay, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, seem it, doesn't to, to, it doesn't seem to be working. It doesn't seem to be working. And it's making a strange noise. A strange noise. Yes. Okay, thank you. Hace un ruido extraño. Okay, another question. No question. Hello. Yes, I have a question. In the last row, how how does is the pronunciation the I see. I'll I'll be there right away. I I come on. I'll 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 listen. Thanks. I'll I'll be there. Okay, I'm going to read again. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Schaffer, accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Oshoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it said, said service. Also, there is a red light on the payroll pattern. I would like to come soon to check it. I see I'll be there right away. In the control, the control panel. Okay. Okay, right here said also, and I don't know if you are showing the, the article that. Is there a message in the control panel? 
And this one say, yes, it said, service. Also, there is a red fly on the river button. I would like to come soon to check it. Okay. Questions? Questions, no questions? No questions, sir. Okay. Okay, 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 let us practice. Let us practice. Okay, I need to create eight. Even though that I have, uh, I guess, two listeners. Okay, I'm going to put together. Voy a poner junto a los listeners. First, in order that all of you can work together. Okay. Let me see. No, can you see this? Okay, I'm going to give you a five minutes in order that you can practice. If you have any problem, let me know, please. And I, I'm going to give you a hand in order that all of you can practice with this conversation. Here we go. Five minutes. Five minutes. Diana, Diana, Diana. Maybe you are busy. Hello, Diana. Hola, hola, teachers. I saw Soy you. solita. <laughs> I saw you alone. That is the reason why I'm here in order to give you a hand. I don't know if you have a, an, a screenshot in order that you can practice with me the conversation. Yes, teacher. You have it? Okay, I'm going to be Mike and you are going to be Maria, right? Okay. Okay. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accosting. I all like to report a problem why my print printer. What is it printer, Mr. Ochoa? It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working. I uh, is marking a strong noise it's making it's making it's making a strong noise is there a message in the control panel yes it says service also there is a ray ring of the error but i call like you to call some to check it Okay, I, I see I'll be there right away. The okay. last impression that you read is that if you say, I would like to come soon 
to check it. Soon. Soon, Soon to check, check it. it. Soon to check it. Okay, to check it. De una vez, check it. Check it. Yeah, check it. Check it, okay. Uh, el otro sería... The error button, button. La pronunciación, no sé si es así la pronunciación, dicho. Button. Bottom. Bottom, bottom. Bottom, okay, bottom, okay. Yeah, it's in the, in the error button. Error button. Yeah. Okay. Um, hey, any, any question? Um, donde, I, donde dice Mari, I see it bit there right away. Right. Which one? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, who wants to, to practice? Who wants to do it? Who wants to do it? Como que ya no me está funcionando así la democracia. Tengo que usar la democracia. Okay, Ana Victoria is there. Elige la pareja, teacher. Okay, Ana Victoria, you are the one. So please, try to do it. Con, con mi compañera. Okay, go ahead, please. Hola. Llámale. Edith. No lo estoy viendo, no lo veo. Permítame, no voy a salir. If you want, I can share it. Ahorita. Eh, May. May Hernández is the department. Hello, May. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem? No te vas a estar parando en eso allí, mira, el jugado. Porque no te estés parando ahí. En eso no te vas a estar parando. José. It doesn't seem to be work, working and it is making a strange noise. Is there a missing in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come some to check it. I see I be her mom away. Thank you, Edith. Okay, thank you. Okay, next, somebody else? Teacher, si gusta, podemos pasar mi compañera Ingrid and me. Okay, do it. Okay. Ahorita. Maya Hernandez, y department? Hello, my. This is Maria Shaw from accounting. I would mm. like to report a problem with my printer. What is a problem, Mr. Shaw? I doesn't seem to be working and it's making um, a strange noise. 
is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service also. There is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. It'll be there right away. Okay, thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, somebody else want to do it? You have a day. And you swallow too. Where are you? Okay, next, next, please. Teacher, con Natalie. Me, teacher. Okay, do it. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, um, con Carlos. <clears throat> Hello. And you? Hello. You, Carlos. Yes. ¿Quién comienza todo yo? You. Oh, okay. Mike Hernandez is the department. Hello, Mike. It is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to, to report a problem with my printer. What's the problem, Miss Ochoa? I doesn't seem to be working and it's making a, a strange noise. Uh, is there a, is there a miss? Message? Um, I don't know the pronunciation. Message? Is there uh, messages in the control panel? Yes. Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. i be there right away. Okay. Okay. It's a message. Is there a message? Um, meshes. Message. Message. Ah, okay. Thank you. Is there a message in the control panel? I don't know. Alejandro. Natalie. Oh, wait. Natalie. ¿Usted o yo, Alejandro, primero? Eh, como quiera. <risa> <risa> ok, sí, pues. usted o yo. Mike Hernández, it's the department. Hello, my this is María Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mr. Ochoa? It doesn't say to be working and it's making a straight noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service also. There is a red light on the error button. I would like to come soon to check it. I see I better right away. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Natalie. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let's continue then.
Okay, before to click to the next slide, I don't know if you have any question. No? No, it's not. Okay. How to use good light too? Okay, we are going to read this. Use good light too to say what you want, especially when making offer and request. And we have singular and also plurals. For example, she would like to send the reports today. She would like to send the reports today. You know, example, he'd like to meet the new employees tonight. This, this is a short way to say he would like. Instead of saying he would like, we use this apostrophe in this way. He'd like to meet the new employees tonight. This is uh, something singular. And what about plural? They would like to speak to a supervisor, or we would like to ship this container tomorrow. Okay, let me know if uh, the example are really clear for you. Tell me. Tell me. Sí, sure. Hello. Mm -hmm. Estas serían las reglas para usar los En plural y en singular, ¿verdad? El how to... Ok, like... these are some examples about. Ok. But uh, you can create uh, the rules if you want, because it, as you can see, you have the structure that we can use. Aquí tenemos la estructura de cómo hacerlo. Tishar, ¿qué es? What is the signification of Wool. 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 Okay. Uh, when we combine, this wool is a model. It's a model there. It's a verb modal. But when we combine with like, I dice gustaría. Hacemos la combinación con otro verbo. Lo que equivale al español que sería haría. Um, ¿Sí? A él le gustaría enviar los reportes hoy. A él le gustaría conocer los nuevos empleados. Y en el plural, a él le gustaría hablar con un supervisor. A nosotros nos gustaría enviar ese contenedor mínimo. That is amazing. Okay, thank you, Tisha. It's a form of life. Yeah, it's a it's a polite way. Okay, let, let me switch a little bit. Of course, using the same um, in order that you can increase your vocabulary. Let me show you something. Solo para aumentar su vocabulary. Okay, imagine your son 
ask you a toy like this. Okay, and 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 the little boy say, I would like a, a what? I would like a ball. What about this? I would like and people. Huh? Apple. 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 I would like an apple. Okay. I would like an apple. I would like a cash. Okay. A go. What about this? I would like bears. I would like um bears. Good, good life. Good life. I would like a beer. Better see. Beer. Beer. <laughs> okay, bingo, bingo, bingo. What would you like? What would you like to drink? Lemon. Juice. Lemon. I would like. Orange. 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 Oh. orange. Orange. Glass orange. Juice. Uh, I would like an orange. Okay. Orange juice. Orange juice. Uh -huh, orange juice. What uh, about this? I would like a bear. Huh. Let us see. A bear. We teddy bear. A, te <laughs> a teddy bear. Teddy bear. Yes. What about this one? I go like a t-shirt. A t-shirt. I go like a t-shirt. A shirt. T-shirt is poor. T-shirt is t-shirt. No. I go like a banana. 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 I would like a bike. I would like a bike. A bike. A bike. A bike. 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 What about this one? Mm -hmm. I would like a cap. I would like, I like a, cap. a cap. Okay, let us see. Uh, this is a baseball cap. Baseball cap. Um, the white shop. The white shop. Mm. Una, una de... The baseball. Yeah, the white shop. The white shop. Okay, who wants to read? Who wants to read? I would like a sandwich. Sandwich. Sandwich and vegetal and hamon and cheese and uh -huh, okay. break. Okay, the, the, the right word is base the balls. Base the ball. Base the ball. Base the ball. Is it from the teacher? No, base the ball, so vegetales. Vegetales. Ah, uh, base. <laughs> base the ball. Base the ball. Can we say a veggie? 
Okay. Can we say a penny? Caja is box brill. Box. I, I, I don't got your question. Who is asking the question? Ah, ah, what I, what you mean that we can say veggies? Yes, teacher. Veggies. Mm, but uh, yes. But you refer uh suddenly um uh, when someone uh is just eating baseball, it's like a, a vegan is also related with that. This is sure we have to say baseball too. No, um, the diminutive of the vegetable teacher. Ah, ah, okay. The problem is that in English sometimes uh, we don't use all the the words that we use in Spanish. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, I guess it's, let me just look for something out here. Okay, let, let us see your vocabulary. Okay, and I need that all of you participate. Okay, good life. Speaking practice. Here we go. Okay, you are going to tell me what Gina uh, would like to eat. I like a strawberry. Strawberry? I like patatas yes. Friday. Okay, hold on, hold on. I would like. We are going to talk egg. about Gina. Gina. Gina would like to eat a cocktail. Gina would like to eat a cupcake. What is that? What is that? Uh, the, the cupcake? cupcake talking about this one? Yes. About this one? Okay, okay. What about this? And this and this. Gina and Gina would like the strawberries. Would like to eat. Would like to eat. Good like. To eat. She some eat, uh, some strawberries. Gina good like a drink meal. Okay, what about the bread and the potatoes? Gina would like the soda. Would like to? Drink to soda. Would like to drink. Drink. Would like to drink soda. Okay, what else? Come on. Gina would like a bread. Would like to eat, would like to eat. Would like to eat a bread. bread. Okay, what about Juliana? Julia. Okay, tell me, tell me. Julia would like to fish. Would like to? Mm, ojo, ojo, después de good like to va el verbo y después va el nombre. Eight fish. Julia, Julia would like to eat. Uh, I eat. Say. I would hate. Sorry, teacher. Eat. Pero era comer. <laughs> ok, la idea estaba ahí, pero. Yes, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> okay. 
Oke, okay, siapa Julia, dulu? Julia, Juliana, would like to drink tea? Ah, oh, would like to drink a tea. Would like to drink a tea. Okay, what else? Yamas? Juliana, would like eat grapes. Would like to. Would like to eat grapes. Grapes. Julia would like to. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Agnes would like to eat a drink of drink orange, an orange. Okay, what else, Kimas? Agnes will like would like to Agnes will like to eat tomato. Okay, tomatoes. What, what about this one? What about this one? What about this one? Agnes would like to eat a onion. Okay, what else? Agnes, Agnes would like to eat a cauliflower. Okay, let's lead. Abnit good like to. Y después del to va el verbo principal. Ah, okay. Okay. Abnit would like to eat a cauliflower. Okay, a call. Okay, a call. Abnit would like to eat lemons. Okay, lemons. What about this one? Agnes would like to eat South South shit. South South, okay. Agnes, you do like? Um, yeah, okay, what about Betty, Betty, Betty? Betty, Betty. Betty. Yeah. Betty, Betty, Betty? Uh, would, would you like to eat kiwi? Ah, pero cuando, cuando menciona la palabra kiwi, dice, very good like to eat. Y to después, eat. Después de ir, to... no, no puede ir la palabra kiwi, falta algo. To kiwi. To. Like to eat. A kiwi. Some kiwis. A kiwi, ok. Kiwis. Okay, oh. what about this one? Betty would like to eat uh, the hamburger. Like to eat hamburger. Hamburger. Yes, así se le oye perfecto. Con cota hamburger. Hamburger. Ah, okay, much better. Ahí está, miren, miren, se da cuenta. Okay, what else? What else? ¿Qué más? Betty, do you like do you like it cheese? Ok, pero me le falta una palabrita ahí. Betty would like to would like to eat Very good like to eat a cheese. A piece of cheese. A piece of cheese. A piece of cheese. Un pedazo de. Okay. What about Peter? 
tell me something about Peter. Oh, Peter. Yes, Peter. Peter would like to eat uh, a chicken. The chicken. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Peter would like to eat a lemon. Okay. Peter would like to like drink coffee. Hello, hello. Okay, what else? What else? We have apple, we have carrot, we have would like, He would like to eat uh, a coffee. Mm, será? A cup of coffee. Drink coffee. Drink coffee, teacher. <laughs> teacher, there are kids that would like the coffee. That would like? Yes, in my case, my son like likes the coffee. Oh, uh, bye. Bye. <laughs> you, you don't you don't you don't like to drink coffee. Or you, or you would like to Peter. drink coffee. <laughs> my son would like to drink coffee teacher. Uh, two. Or one. Or twice. No, twice is, is different. Twice is different. Ah, okay. Twice is dos veces. No es dos. Coffee? Yes. <laughs> okay, the last yeah. one. The, the last ah. one. Let us talk about Tom. And this is the last picture that I'm going to show. Okay, Tom. Ah. A tongue I could like to eat. Me a fix. <laughs> okay, I'm talking about Tom. Tom, you would like eat a uh, pie? No, 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 no. Tom would like, he would like. Tom would like to eat a pizza. Oh, okay, would like to eat a pizza. What, what about this one? This one, this one, this one, and this one. Tom would like to eat pumpkin. Okay, the pumpkin. Okay. What else? Come on. Tom would like. To eat a radish. Okay, a radish. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Okay, let us do something now.
Okay, now we go to you turn imagine a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken. Right from four to five request about. Okay, try to do this, please. <laughs> Okay, tell me. Imagine a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken, right? From four to five requests about or about it. Okay, do it, please. Imagine, imagine. Usted. The printer teacher. Ah, could be, could be. But but you are going to make a five, five or four requests about. Um, how do you say bandeja tray? The paper tray is broken of the printer. Okay. So we request about it. ¿Cómo sería? Para pedir otra. How you can make a request in order to fix the problem? We need to pay for the installation of the paper tray. Maybe you can call to the technical support. They have the contacts. Yes. Okay, but I need that you write a four to five request about about the the, the previous topic. That you are going to imagine that a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken. Five from four to five requests about it. Think about that. Okay, I'm going to give you like a five minutes in order to you finish this activity. Go ahead. In fact, no. See you, Lutri. The guy that was calling, he will also. Oh, look at that. Did you finish? No, oh, shit. Loriano?
Okay, yes, let me know what you have, please. Will you share your sentences with me in order to see the way that you create it? Sí, sure. Hello. Um, podría ser, can you, can you say? Could be in that way, but another way. Uh, Hello, can you change the printer in because it is broken? What about if you include good light too? Oh. Para que sea más cortés. Oh, okay, <laughs> teacher. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Teacher. Teacher. Um, so I'm here. Modifique you. Hello. Would, would you like to help me change the printer in because it is broken? Okay. Would you like to give me a hand? Okay. Would you like to give me a hand? It's going to be better, okay. Okay, Tisha. Okay. Nice, nice. Eso es como más, eh, ¿cómo le diría? Cordial. Coloquial, coloquial. Okay, okay. Okay. Ya hicimos una de cuatro, okay. What about the next one? Only one? Nah. What about you, Ana Victoria? Um, in, the, in the office, I would like to have a new telescope because the previous is broken. Okay. Number one, what about the, the next one? Teresa? Okay, so Mariano, come on, you can do it. Carlo, Brenda, Julia, Natalie, Sir, Two, Edith, Jose, Alejandro, Singalda, Mayra. Come on, you can do it. Mayra. Oh, Mayra and Yvette. Do you choose me, Sandra Yvette? <laughs> yes, I choose you. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, teacher, uh, I don't know, could be... I would like to report a problem. My CPU doesn't work. I accidentally dropped it and I broke. Okay. That's good. That's good. 
Does it? Sure. Okay, next. Somebody else. Who must? Emerson teacher. Okay, Emerson. Emerson. Wow, you bet. Está tirando, está tirando. <laughs> he's, choose, he's choosing her victim. Está eligiendo su victim. Emerson, I would like to hear. I would like to see this person speaking. Good health, teacher. Oh, yes. Okay. Is the helper? The perfect help. <laughs> okay, next, somebody else. Okay, let me move. Let me move that if you don't want to. Bueno, si usted no quiere, entonces yo me muevo a la siguiente. Sí, sure. Hello. Juan. Wow. Hello, oh. Peter. Uh, would you like to change the chair because it it broke and cannot be used? You said like that, please. Okay, it's broke. Yes. Or it's broken. When we talk broke. about money, we say I'm broke. But when we talk about something like uh, equipment, you say broken. Um, it's in present. Okay. What else? Get us. Okay. Somebody else? No? Okay, let us continue then. Okay, read and read about printer qualities and answer the question below. Who wants to read this one? Give me a hand, please. Who wants to do it? Give me, give me, give me. Me? Okay. Um, color. What? Uh, color. Color is important for users who need to print page for presentation or maps and other page uh, where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to pray. Science they use to in card cartridge. One color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of, of page will find a black and white printer cheap, cheaper to operate. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read it for you. Say colors is important for users who need to print pages from presentation or map and other pages where color is part of that information. Color printer can also be said to print only in black and white. Color printer are more expensive to operate since they use to in card price. It is one color and one black ink. That need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. User who don't have to a specific don't have a, a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Okay, somebody else wants to read it. Let me know, please. Who wants to do it? Okay. 
It's difficult. It's a little difficult for you? Me too. Me too. Okay, who wants to do it? Who wants to do it? Yeah, I am the teacher. Okay, do it. Go ahead. Color. Colors is, is, is important for users who need to print their page for presentation or maps and other page where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. In white. Color printers are more expensive to operate than they use to ink cartridge. The one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a center number of pages. Users who that have specified need more need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Okay, the último renglón donde dice who don't have who don't have a, a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages, pages. We'll, pages. Yeah, pages. Okay. And we'll find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Okay, somebody else wants to do it? No? Okay, what about the next part? Okay, sure. let, let, let me move for the next one. Or maybe somebody wants to read this part too. Alguien más desea leer esta parte? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry, the only teacher? From color. Color. Yeah. Color, color is important for user who need to print page for presentation or maps and other page where color is part of the information. Color printers can also visit, visit to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use to ink cards, cartridges. Is it cartuchos, teacher? Yes. The cartridges. The cartridges. Uh, okay. One color and one black ink. Black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of page. User home don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot, a lot of page will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Okay, replaced, replaced, cheaper. Replay, cheaper. Yeah, cheaper. Replace. Okay, this one is an aptitude. Cheaper. Sí, aquí es un adjetivo comparativo. Más barato. Cheaper to operate. Sí. Okay. Let us continue reading. Who wants to continue reading? Okay, I'm going to read the resolution. Print a resolution that charges. Print to. Excuse me? Printer resolution, the sharpness steps. Okay, and I'm going to read it. Printer resolution, the sharpness of steps, and images of paper. It's usually measured in dots per inch DPI. Most inexpensive printer provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600. DPI. Okay, speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printer prints only about three to 
six sheet per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most, Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory, it helps helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large images. Okay, we have some things there talking about resolution, speed, and memory. Okay, who wants to read it? Who wants to participate? No idea about No? Okay. I'm gonna move then if you don't want to read it. Okay. I need that you answer these five questions. I'm going to give you like a segment of time that you can resolve. Number one, is color important for some user? Number two, what does DPI stand for? Number three, why are color printers more expensive? Number four, what is some, something important for someone who prints a lot? And last, number five, what is the amount of memory that most printer come with? Okay, try to remember and resolve. Okay, who wants to answer the five question? In your own words, tell me what is the color important for some user based on the read? Yes, teacher. And the one question, what is color important for some user because some users need to print around maps and they need a colorful. Okay. What about uh, number two? Or oh, somebody else has a different answer. For number one. Number two says, so what does BPI stand for? What is the meaning of this? 
acrónimos. ¿Qué significa eso? Chao. Esta. Um, the point for the color in the paper. Is model teacher? It is. Is model? No. The mark? No. BPI. It's not a model. Let me go back and show you. The how do you say pulgar? Yes, teacher is is. Is is the point for the? Take a look. You have it there. Take a look. Is light resolution? Yes, but, but the meaning of these three words, three letters. I'm sorry. Three the three letters. The meaning. Um, what is the meaning? It's dots per inch. Ah, dots per inch, okay. Okay. For most purposes, at 600 DPI. Y todavía podemos uh, ver Nowadays we can see some uh, algunas matriciales todavía en los selectos son unas que hacen un ruido que son a través de una cinta la cinta. Teacher. Hello. Um, my my word is one. En mi trabajo hay una, o sea, yo la utilizo, es la de papel continuo. Paper continuo. Las matriciales. Matriciales, sí, que este, como trabajo a base de sistema, entonces envía los recibos. Ah, ok, sí. Yes, y es a base de cinta. Ok, perfecto. Okay, uh, question number three say, why are colors printers more expensive? Maybe there is a reason for son uh, my impressores de colors son más caras. Supposedly, teacher, the ink color of color is more expensive than the Black and white. There's a black one, okay. Okay, it's a theory, okay. Number four, say Bye. Okay. Teacher. Hello? But I'm not sure about this theory. Okay, what about? Let, let us know. <laughs> because, for example, in the um, in one image um, on the paper, in the color can be mixed the three colors, the yellow, um, the others, and the blue, and the black, red, yeah. It's blue, yeah. red, black, white, yellow, brown, no, teacher. <laughs> we need no. three colors. Four colors. For mix, a one color. Okay, okay. But for example, in the in the picture can be is always use the black, the color black. Okay. So I think that 
this is more expensive. I think the color black is more expensive. Mm, but in my experience, teacher. Okay, talking about your experience, okay. I can make a contract because in my way, I have a printer, an Exxon. Let me see if it's a Canon, I guess. Well, I use a Canon and an Exxon. And what I can say is that the Canon is cheaper than Exxon. But I don't know why. Well, Okay, number four says, what is something important for someone who prints a lot? And number five, what is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Come. Come in. No idea? No. ¿Cuál es la cantidad de memoria que la mayoría de impresoras traen con ellos? One megabyte. One? One megabyte. Okay, good thing. Good thing. Okay, let us. Finish now this activity. So, okay. Okay, let me check out the, the attendance now. Let me see the time that we have now. Okay, let me see how many people do we have now. Okay, uh, Alejandra, are you there? Ale Ale? Hmm? Okay, Ana Victoria? Present. Uh, Asalia? Present, teacher. Okay, Brenda Ivet? There. Natalie, is there too, right? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Carlos. Hello, I'm here. Okay, is there. Carlos is there too. Diana. Present teacher. Edith. Edith. Present. Okay, thank you. Present. Okay, um, Emerson. Emerson. Present teacher. Okay, is there two? And Francisco. Ingrid Elizabeth. Teacher. Present teacher. Me falló mi micro cuando me mencionó. Brenda Moreno. Brenda? Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, okay, Brenda, Natalie, Brenda, Brenda. No, Brenda Yvette Moreno. Ah, Brenda Yvette is first, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you, teacher. Okay, welcome. Okay, uh, Diana Yamilet. Is there? Present teacher. Okay, um, let me see. Ron is not here. Okay, Ingrid Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ismael. Present teacher. Uh, Okay, Jose Alejandro. I present teacher. Julia Janet. 
Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Sandra Ivet. I'm here, teacher. And Sonia Smeralda. Sonia, are you? Present teacher. Uh -huh, Sorry, yeah. present. It's there, it's there. Okay. Okay, before you go, me gustaría saber si todos terminaron las actividades de la semana 3. Yes, teacher. Sí, quien no lo ha hecho, por eso se pone al día, necesito actualizar el tiempo. Yes, so please try to do it. Okay, uh, let me start that we have now. Okay. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, bye, bye. See you. Bye. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night.